take one. It can be only one take because it's uh, one take one. Keep your jar. Hi, <laughs> just me. Um, I'm Sean from the story time, <laughs> but it's off camera. Hi. Um, I'm going to just do a little video about um things I'm planning to read in March. It's, it's March the first tomorrow. Um, and one of the things I was going to do was Dairy Thon, which I heard about via Heather, which is um, kind of like month long um, reading Welsh books for like obviously St David's Day on the 1st of March. Um, I know that I don't want to read Welsh books for the whole of the month, so I've only got four. One of them I don't have with me because I've ordered it from the library, which is um, One Moonlit Night by Caradog Pritchard, which is the group book. I'll leave all the details in the description. I think it's more of a a blog thing rather than a, a booktube thing but we could make it a booktube thing too so yeah the group read is One Moonlit Night um, which is a book I'm you know it, it's a classic uh, it was written in Welsh and then translated into English my dad always raves about it so he really likes it but read it recently and you liked it too yeah it's great and I've been always put off it because it looks bleak mm. it is quite bleak yeah about kind of i think there's so when's it set is it like pre-war or um, sort of 40s i'm guessing yeah just before the 50s yeah. yeah and it's about a child and i think his mother has mental health issues and possibly him as well well there's there's kind of a twist towards the end which you're not to know about a bleak twist but it's kind of quite, it's, it's not too grim until the end. Okay. So. There we go. So, you know, I don't feel super confident about that one. It's although. great. It's really good. <laughs> although I don't expect it to be good. Uh, um, the other ones I've got, so last year apparently the group read was um, this one, which I just happened to have um, at home anyway, which is Autobiography of a Super Tramp by W.H. Davis. Um, and this is about, it says, the experiences of a young destitute Welshman in America and Britain. Um, and the reason I bought this initially was because um, I work in a museum and we have a painting uh, of W.H. Davis and I just thought, oh, I should find out a little bit more about him. So it was originally published in 1908. The guy that went to, um, you know, the guy that died on a bus, the one that went off into the wilderness, I mean, you know, the worst oh, film ever made. Into the Wild. Into the Wild. John, that's not John Krakow, no. No, but the, Into the Wild, the guy in that calls mm. himself Alexander Supertramp. Right. After this book. Right. I've never been so traumatised from a film as Into the Wild. No, Absolutely. because this is going to be fun, just being yeah. like a destitute Welshman in America and Britain. Yeah. Yeah, I think it looks like it's going to be good. I'm kind of, I quite... It's another classic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm quite up reading this one. And um, it's on the Library of Wales um, series, which is from Parthian also Bert's publisher. Um, but the Library of Wales series, if you've never read any, are really interesting. So they're classics really, aren't they? Or they're not they're not contemporary books. Um, and I just think they're kind of quite an interesting selection of books. And all the ones I've read, even if I haven't been, even if it would not be my favourite books, have all been really interesting and really well written. So um, that's that one. Oh. It's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got two Welsh language books. So I've got Clever Glass Nebel by Manon Stefan Ross, which also Heather was going to be reading as well. And this looks, um, I don't read much in Welsh. Like I, I'm fluent in Welsh and I use it every day in work, but I can't remember the last time I read a Welsh book. So I do feel I should read Welsh books and I don't, but I've got this one. And this, um, when did this come out? came out in 2018 and it's been like really popular my niece read it and really liked it There's, it's been turned into a um a theater show and i think it's got really good reviews and it's so it, i think it's going to be good i think it's going to be kind of easy to read and good um and it's a post-apocalyptic novel so yeah and then the other one i've got which my friend Teresa's has lent me and i just haven't read it or given it back so i need to read this one and this is Veritas by Mary Lisa. And my friend Therese told me that it's kind of like um, Da Vinci Code. And um, I mean, that doesn't sort of, <laughs> it doesn't really appeal. But um, I will give that one a go as well.
but I feel much more confident about Flowers Glass and Airball. Then I've got my TBR jar. So last um, month, I did super well on my TBR jar. I read from my last TBR jar, there was Bone Gap. Bone Gap by Laura Ruby, which is a young adult novel, which I really liked. I love that one. Um, a little bit magical, super good. And then I, I gave it five stars, I think, Ooh. didn't I? And then also The Men in My Life by Patricia Bosworth. I enjoyed this one. <laughs> it has lots of little stories about, um, you know, Steve McQueen, Marilyn Monroe, which I love kind of things where like celebs just sort of pop up. Anyway, that one I gave four. Um, I enjoyed it, but I didn't think the writing was that amazing. It was more about the fun stories. And then two from this TBR jar, and I'm allowed to put one back, is the rule, That's isn't the it, Bertie? So I'm just going to pick one. Okay. I Used to Be Charming by Eve Babbitts. Oh, well, That's you the... kind of started that one, right? I've started it, but I'd put it down. Yeah. So I Used to Be Charming by Eve Babbitts. Lovely. I've been super non-fictiony at the moment as well. Mm. Yeah, perfect. So I don't mind if these are two non-fictions. And then the other one is Where the Dead Pause. Looks like I've written it by Mocket. <laughs> Tell me what it is, Bertie. Whoa. Ah, yeah, so it's like a travel one, isn't it? Yeah. About um, in Japan. Yeah. She, Fine. Um, she visits a Buddhist temple. Yeah, is that on my trolley? I think it might be. So that's uh, March's books. They're both good ones. Where the Dead Paws and I Used to Be Charming. That's my little video uh, done. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 We'll be, we'll be back soon with the vlog. Maybe Tuesday. <coughs> I don't know if I can hold him up much longer. <laughs>